when, and now it's going. Now uh, what? When, when, when Andrew, Andrew was with Michael, and Mike, they, and when Michael passed away, we had the service in St. Thomas Episcopal Church in New York, and it was so early in the morning, and who comes walking down the aisle in a red dress to come pay respects was Marsha. Marsha P. Johnson. Johnson. Just to she show. hadn't gone to bed yet. She it was early yeah, in the morning. It was like nine o'clock, and it, that's what Andrew said. <laughs> in a red you know, dress. she in a red dress. In all a red her glory. dress in St. Thomas a, a Cathedral in on New York. She was so wonderful, wasn't she? A wonderful. You know, I I'm, I'm I'm nominating her. Mike, to, she's going to be the. Was, he was. I met so many beautiful, wonderful people. Through my son, uh, you have an amazing son. I, I'm honored, and I, I'm, an, I'm, I'm honored though. I'm honored, I was honored to have the opportunity to, to meet some of the night, and with all the obstacles they faced. From and you walked with the parents of gays within what year? I, I think it was years. ninety. 91, something like that. Because after that, I know you used to go then to Queen's Pride, Brooklyn Pride, Brooklyn and you Pride. got a different outfit for each one. You really got off on being a big celeb out there. <laughs> you like them all screaming for you. I, 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 love, I love to look at their faces and see the pride and joy that they felt for themselves on that day when they had so many obstacles. In right. their lives. But they looked at you and they saw the mother they all dreamed of having, the mother that loved them unconditionally. That's why that's why that video and that bright thing that I wrote about you. You don't realize that you have touched so many people by being the wonderful human being. Yeah. And all those kids that saw you, they all screamed and they, uh, it uh, gave them hope that their own mother would someday come to accept I, them. Well I just believe every every time you could you touch somebody's hand you connect your, your hearts so you connect it even though you you know you don't well, I'm telling oh you know the love a story I want you to tell the night you woke up and heard Randy Wicker in your bedroom do you remember that one what was I drinking that night no no you were, <laughs> you were sober what it was is you were sleeping well, how and much? I, I, <laughs> no you were sleeping you were still working at the police department you were sleeping and I was on Curtis C was C was show on WABC and you had it on so oh. as she's waking up she hears my voice in the room which is very distinctive and she says to herself what is Randy Wicker doing in my bedroom? She's out in Queens sleeping peacefully. I guess she thought maybe I was about to attack her and she woke up. She woke up and it was me on the radio. I was always on the radio. As I and, 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 and that was when I wasn't drinking? Right, you weren't even drinking. No, Imagine if I was. That was 97, between 97 and probably between, I would say between 98 and 2001. You weren't drinking then. Well, you say sober till you retired, right? Yeah. Life life is to live and enjoy. Tell me about and it. And appreciate. And when I think of all the wonderful people, uh, friends of Andrews and all of you, that we lost from AIDS. Were most of them some gay or were they just a real mixture of people? Some of the most wonderful, wonderful people. But you realize how touched people are when they meet you, Andrew's mother? And uh, I am not, I'm not supported of, of the gay community just because of Andrew. I really mean it sincerely in my heart. Did you know other gay people why, why before people, you knew Andrew? Why do people want to hurt people? For the, God put them here. And don't hear me this crap about religion, because God. You're a good Roman Catholic saying that. Yeah, well, it's true. Right. It's in my and now heart, the Pope's it's true. on your side. The Pope says, "Who are we to judge?" I love no, the and new not, Pope. No, it's if, if God put them, put us here. So if He put us here, that means we have a right to be here, and nobody. So don't tell me you're religious when you're disputing what God's choice was, and and nobody should. 
question or and, judge or people. judge and nobody has the right uh, and to, how old were you when you found out Andrew was gay oh good question well you know he always my my mother, the mothers always know is that true? My, my mother believe it or not I always had you know like somehow he, there was difference but my mother was the one that said to me one time his grandma uh -huh. he, she said do you do you know that Andrew Marge is to a different drama <laughs> that was Graham said that yeah. and Graham, Graham lived to be a hundred I remember going to her funeral remember she was laid yeah, out and I, I, and I claimed I saw a mouse crawling around the reefs on top I said that'll get you a discount on the funeral they had her laid out and I think I was the only one that came right she was how old? 86. 86? I thought she was 98. Mm -hmm. Only 86. God, I thought she was so old, but I was young then. <laughs> how many years ago was that? I think she died. Well, I retired in 2003, but I had already lost. She died in, she, does, uh, she died December 16th, 2002, just before Christmas. And you have a family burial plot that goes back to 1872? Yeah, well, it was a deed from a, a distant relative on my father's side, and they had the, the deed. And Andrew tells me that there's just enough space for you and him. That's right. Man, what a godsend. Yeah. I can't tell you what, the button, you know, what button I had on your picture on my wall you know what I shouldn't tell you but you'll laugh I said white truck white trash with cash <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because they never had a penny if they made if they made if they put that give me that sign again if he's the kind of person if he made a hundred thousand a year he spent a hundred and twenty and she worked at the police oh, how many you declared that bankruptcy what twice or something well, you want to talk about well this, this is my Andrew's my pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Oh, really? Pot of gold? Look, he's red. I don't think gold comes in red. <laughs> he's my pot of gold. Pot of daddy. gold? Wow. I, he's your sugar daddy. How how sick does I, it get? I don't. The son I don't, becomes a I sugar don't, daddy. I don't. Wow. I don't. I don't, I don't <laughs> Tell me who you are, because I want you to be. You're here, too. You're a oh, special man. person. You're who? Hot Nelly. Hi. N Nelly, right. You're an old friend of Andrew's. You've gone out with Andrew. Have you gone out with Andrew and his mother together? Yeah, that's how I met Dottie. Mm -hmm. Andrew and I used to work together. Yeah, she's me at my worst. <laughs> at your worst? Yeah. yeah. Andrew tells me he has pictures. I wouldn't believe that how bad you look. But he said you look much better now. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that, you know, that, because wait until you had the operation and, you know, gotten the next round of the thing, that now you're back to your real year old self. Yeah, now as long as I can walk and navigate. Tell me, I am in a wheelchair. I have a. I thought I had a picture for you in my wheelchair. If not, here I am. This is me. This is me in the wheelchair. I went out with uh, the Gay Pride March. This is actually to go to the hall. Here, this is me. Here, this is me in the in the wheelchair. I well, have to I that picture the, too. You were in a wheelchair? Yeah, because I have I have we, Achilles heel. I laid up for months until it finally I got an art support and went away and I gained 10 ugly pounds. Andrew, remember when I broke my hip? You look better now, so there you go. When I broke my hip. This was only a week ago. You, <laughs> you're a liar. <laughs> you, you, rented, you, rent, you rented the wheelchair so I could yeah, be had, in the parade. We had her in the parade in the wheelchair. And, and really? really? Rest his soul. Oh, I'm in the way, parade in the wheelchair. I hire yeah, Michael to, to, to push me. Yeah. Michael and Jamie push me. Andrew pushed me. And I hop me out of the wheelchair to take pictures of people, and, and no one else can walk down. When the Christopher yeah. Street comes, they're all dying on their feet, yeah. and I hop out of the wheelchair and give high fives to all that's, the kids going down what, Christopher that's Street. That's when I broke my hip. I got when? In the Gay Pride Day Parade? You know me. But that, I was in the Pride Parade that, yeah, that year restaurant. after I had the <laughs> hip surgery. Oh, but that, but you didn't break your hip in the Gay Pride no, Day Parade? Oh, no. okay. And, and, and Andrew ran to the gear, uh, a, a wheelchair for me. I have an electric, a woman downstairs has an electric wheelchair, and I took her out to Newport Mall buying some new shoes she needed. They tell her she should have a hip operation, she won't have it. She has two disintegrated discs well, in her spine. Well, she suffers in I, pain. I, I, I broke my hip, believe it or not, 
in the house. I was living with somebody at the time, and I wasn't drinking. I didn't break. <laughs> right, didn't, most people, they most people fall. Have, fall yeah. to the thing that kill us all. That's why I've got to get my apartment cleaned I, out. I, I didn't. I, do, I wasn't drinking. In fact, the, the person I was living with, there was a little foyer between the bathroom and the kitchen, and they mopped the floor. And there was a, they left the puddle, puddle of water on the floor. They didn't you see. You know what? It. Also, it's dangerous. There are garbage bags or plastic bags. You step on one, it's like yeah. it's like and a I went wax to go paper. into the bathroom, and then all of a sudden, I came out of the bathroom and I went down, and I knew right away because I, I, I felt nothing in my leg. In my oh leg. God! I knew right away I couldn't. But I, you haven't been in, have, have you? Because I remember you were walking. I mean, you recovered from that, right? Oh, Got yeah. I mean, I did a what lot year of was physical. That? that was the late was 90s. The late 90s? Yeah, somewhere in the 90s. Oh, that was 20 years ago. Yeah. You were I, still a spring chicken in the 60s. I, I, <laughs> yeah. I did, a lot of, I did a lot of physical therapy, but thank God I, I recovered from, them, from that. But the first, the first thing I had with the balance was first I had the lumpectomy and I th thought it was the effects of the anesthesia and that's when I started losing my balance and having you trouble walking. Then about, then it was We're like, take a break, it was like a, a, a two years later I had, that I had to have this job. You had that, you had breast cancer, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we might as well tell the whole story here now. If people if people want to know but, that you're an inspiration. You beat the but, breast cancer. But yet, this wasn't related to that. I know, So you, but it came back two times, once and even beat it a second time, Well, the right? first time, it was they just removed the, the lump. And then the second, then I had, uh, then I had the, the six weeks of radiation. But and now what happened now? Angel told me he came in and found you. want to say what happened? I, what, do you remember any of I, it? I went... I, you said I, you were catatonic on the floor and they didn't know whether it was a Yeah, but that was one thing happened. But but then one day I went. I was coming out of the drugstore. I happened to have this friend. She was with me. And all of a sudden I, I started with the tremors where I could Really? Yeah. And then I... Then it got progressively How worse. long ago was that? That was like, well, I had the surgery now in June, so it must have started sometime after Easter, April, May, yeah. But you didn't know, no one knew what was wrong. And then Andrew took you to the hospital and they said they have to operate or she'll be dead by Tuesday or something, and they operated. And uh, you want to tell me what they found? Cancer, the tumor. Tumor, just like John McCain has. Yeah, I have the same thing as John McCain. And he says that after they operated, that before they operated, you were acting strangely, but after they operated, you were like you are now. You're the old daddy that we all know and love. Yeah. You know, forever. Well, you know, I you know it's not not a great prognosis. Yeah. Well, that's what I say. Listen, you made it to 80. I'm not sure I will. Every, I'm only six months behind your girlfriend. <laughs> every day is a gift. Yes. You know what Marsha used to say? I'd say to her, why do you have to go out tonight? And Marsha would always say, I've got to go out and have fun for all the girls that that's, aren't around anymore. That's right. And do you know any other stories about Marsha? you remember any other things that happened with her that were special no, or great? She, she was so special. I still, I still picture her in my mind. She I was the she most was generous. You know what everyone said? She was the poorest. I mean, I shouldn't have mentioned things about you being poor, but I said she was the poorest person we all knew, and she was the happiest. happiest. And she, but she was rich in her soul. Oh, great! More than rich, she is a. She was a saint. I swear to God, I have posted calling her transgender saint. That's my campaign. That's, that's I won't live to see it, but I really do believe that Marsha B. Johnson will be the first transgender church saint in the Roman Catholic Church. Well, because really, she gave. She did nothing but give to others and do for others. I, I, that's why I, I, I get, I get such rage when I think of these people who they 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 want to hurt people. Uh, 
because they oh, don't agree. Let's, not refi let's just have focus on having fun. This has been heavy enough. I'm going to stop filming and sit and, and have and, a, and, some water and stuff. And what would you say to people? I mean, let's face it, you, you, your life, you know, your life expectancy is what, 12 to 14 months or one day to 14 months or something? It's not great. What would you say to people watching this? Because I always thought I want to go into I want to go into homes where people knew they were dying, and ask them, <laughs> what regrets do you have, and what are the great joys that joys. you had in life? Because I always want I forgot to ask my best friend Jack that. I asked him, does it hurt? He said, you know, I'm dying. I said, yes. He, I said, he, I said, I said, what is it like? And he said, I can't. I'm I'm comfortable. All I can say is it is that I'm comfortable. And then I said, well something like hang on or fight maybe you can because he was still younger and you know what I never got to ask him what is your what great what what do you regret do you have any regrets so I'm going to ask you that I never asked a person and I knew was dying that before and what are the great joys are that when you look on your life do you look at periods that you made choices that were so fabulous and you're so happy you did or periods that you made choices that you wish you hadn't made you don't have to say any more than you want to. No, I, 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 there might have been times that I, uh, there were things that made me sad or unhappy, but I really have, I have no regrets. Oh, that's the I, way I feel. I tell people, I, if I, I die, I, I said, first I chance, let me get out of here painlessly. Don't call. I don't want any no, ventilators. No, that, no matter what. I mean, I, I, I've been blessed. I've been blessed. Look at look at look, my you're son. eighty. Not many people live yeah, that old, look, and you've been in pretty my, decent health. Look at my son, and I had a mother who loved me and supported me. Oh, that's and stood that's by why me. you were such a great loving and supportive mother, you know. And so I I I was blessed. I'm. Well, I want to say I want to say I don't he, have Trump's money, but I'd rather not have his money and be like him. Boy, you took the words right out because of my mouth. Because he's a piece. And, and you, you know, you know, he, even he's, though he's a piece of crap. I know, but before we get ugly, I just saw him a good vibe. I just want to tell you that I say this as an atheist. You know that I feel blessed to have had you in my life. I can't tell you, Daddy. Knowing I, people like you has, has has given me hope for the future I, in I, a way. And I, now I, I see more, and it's so wonderful that people I, like you. I, Stand I, by your children, and it, I, I had a mother that was so horrible. <laughs> You're such a wonderful mother. So anyway, I've gone on enough. This is enough. No, for I now. know. Any last, me any it, last messages to those here in case we don't it, get some more videos? It hurts to, when you have that void in you. But it hurts made, when you have that what? That void in you. That somebody that you want to love you and yes. be there for isn't there. Right. But, maybe it would give you some comfort to put it in your head that they whatever that you lost whether they realize it or not they lost they lost yes because they, love breeds love you know what i told people on facebook today when i put up the video they, about my party i was coming over here yeah. i said i want all of you to have a birthday party for Dottie wherever you are invite your friends invite your family you should bring it up and read it to her, Andrew. No, it's on Facebook. But, but they lost because uh, you can't tell anybody else what to believe. I mean, it's their life. Uh, but as a mother, I don't know how. I don't know how you. I don't know how you can. I don't know how you can live your li life, get older, yes. and close your eyes. Right, and and, and reject and, your own and not, children. And know that you that you lost all that those years and those precious moments of being in your child's life. Right. God gave, God entrusted that child to you to love and nurture and stand with. Regardless now, of what if, that child does, because you know, even. If he, if he thought, if he thought you belonged together, who are you to uh, deny what he, his decision, and then say you're religious? Right. Hate your own child and say you're religious. That's why I, I don't like militant atheists, but I just can't believe in God. I mean, for me, it's all no, over. It, I, I, sweet it, nothingness, I welcome. <laughs> it, Let me out of here. Let it, me into it, the it's not, blank void of nothingness. You know, it's not God. Look, do me a favor. Because we One get, last thing I forgot. We get 
to make our own choices. I know, but I want you to do me one favor. I told my mother she couldn't believe I was an atheist, and she said when I died I was in for a big surprise. And I said, well, if that's true, you'll know. I said, but if I'm right and death is really just the end and the void, I'll never know. We'll never know that I won this argument. So do me a favor. If you get to the other side and you get to heaven, which I'm sure you will, and we asked Marsha P. Johnson to come to me in a dream or something and I channel, tell Marsha somehow to channel something to me, but to keep me going, to give me the strength, the way she, and she's done that. Marsha's done that for me. You don't understand. She has. I, I, she, she has, it's, that's why I'm wearing her no t-shirt today. Marsha has been the inspiration of my life. Whenever I get weary, I think, go out and have fun for all the girls that aren't here anymore, and there are so many of them. And I'm so blessed to have good health, and I managed to get walking again. I'm six months younger than you, so I don't know if I'll make it to 80, but and, you have right on, girl. I'm looking and, forward and, to 90. And when, you, when I see that St. Jude's commercial with the children in, in the cancer research hospital, right. these beautiful little children, oh, what, so they, sad. what they're going through, and their life hasn't even begun. And then, yes. then there's And yet we have wonderful full lives, and if we get yeah, cancer, and, it doesn't matter because we've already lived our then lives. There's people out there who are rejected by the people that are supposed to stand by them no matter what. Right. Now, thank God, the parents of those children with the cancer don't feel like it's something that we should. All right. Turn but you know outside. what? They're probably ones that are that we never see. The ones we see at St. Jude had mothers like you and fathers, you know, that loved them and they did everything full, made miracles happen to give their child every chance, just like you've done everything to give your child every Sick chance. Man, yeah, anyway, yeah. I've been mal too maudlin. So anyway, so just tell Marsha B. Johnson that I said hell no and tell her to somehow get just start channeling through me and keep me going so because i got a monument to build to her and i got love to spread to the world thank you so much dorothy Calco, my heroine thank, a thank, great gift to the you world thank you for being in our life randy right. thank you so much thank you bye-bye